Hello. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you how I have removed the flickering or glitching in in uh, OBS. Uh, the problem that I had is that I'm using an external um, Lumix camera. And when I come here to my camera, uh, some people were saying that go here to configuration of your my video and that here I could be uh, able to adjust the anti-flickering, right? But here it is disabled. In my camera, it is disabled. I'm using an external uh, video um, uh, capture card. And, and well, uh, there is no, no drivers. This is a plug and play Chinese uh, capture card. It is just a $12 capture card. So, well, it, it was something cheap from China. The point is that, well, it was flickering a lot and I've been fixing or trying to fix this by uh, removing the power um, consumption of my USB ports, trying to, to not optimize that and provide the, 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 proper, um, the proper electrical current. And how I have more or less fixed that, because you can see that there is a still some little flickering, but it was completely flickering all the time. So for me, this is good currently for for tweaks and how i have fixed this is by synchronizing the hertz right so in my case i'm in in europe and i'm using um well uh 50 um hertz uh, power in in europe so in case you are in the us you should be I'm, i imagine that you are using 60 hertz uh, power supply, so it is different, but you, sh you should use the, the same trick, right? And it's to use directly the same hertz, but in frames per second, or uh, a multiple of that, right? Or something, so in this case, uh, if it's 50 here in Europe, uh, I can use 50 or 25, it is more or less good. And and I have to, to change this in three sources, right? I had to change this in my digital camera. Now I'm uh, using um, full frame, sorry, um, <laughs> a full HD uh, 1080p and uh, with 55 uh, frames per second. I also choose here manually 55 frames per second in my uh, configuration of my video. But I had to go also to a third point. It was here uh, in the configuration in the settings. And I had to choose here also in video uh, here the, the settings for frames per second. And here I have choose also the 25. In this case, it's 25 PAL settings, right? So it is in three points. It's in the digital camera. It is here in my uh, sources, in my video configuration. And I did also here in the settings, in the control settings in my video right here in the frames per second. So if you synchronize in these three points, uh, your glittering or flitter, flickering will uh, will be very low. It is not perfect. You can see that it is not perfect, but for me, this has improved dramatically how it has been in my latest uh, broadcast and streamings in the last days. So, well, for me, at this point, this is acceptable. It is not perfect, but it is good. And if you have any other solution, please uh, share that with me and we will be <laughs> trying to fix this in both sides. So that's all from my side. I hope you learned something and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.